All right, Makai Becton calling out the Jets coaching training staff. We are the New York Jets, so there's not going to be too much time that goes by without a little bit of drama. And I remember murmurings of this last summer, but this is the first time I've actually seen it in Makai Becton's words. This is from the uh, uh, New York Daily News article just today. I'm not sure when the quote was given from Makai, but essentially he said, he hurt his knee because he was asked to play a position he doesn't play, and he told the Jets training staff that playing right tackle was putting more stress on his knee, and they told him, suck it up, rub some dirt on it, essentially, then he blows it out, the knee buckles, and he has to get reconstructive surgery. So I feel like with us Jets fans, it's there, it's a lot of it, either no matter what, the player can do no wrong, and Makai's a beast and comeback season, and the Jets are always messing things up, or... Makai is in insert personal insult about his weight or work ethic or whatever. And I think two things can be true. Uh, yeah, I mean, maybe it's uh, not the best way to look at it, but when I first read that, I do get a little Gen Z participation trophy behavior that triggers me a little bit. Suck it up. Come on, dude. <laughs> you, uh, I mean, 99% of us watching this, right? If you had to miss two years of work for any reason. I'm not saying he was on vacation, he's, he's rehabbing, it's a painful injury, all that. But you have to miss two years of work for any reason and you get 100% of your compensation and your insurance and everything and you're good to go. Uh, I'm pretty sure the person, if, if you're watching this, unless you're the president, <laughs> your organization is not taking care of you like that financially. So even on his rookie contract, he's got generational wealth. And you played a little right tackle at Louisville and also, does the knee buckle if Mekhi Becton is in shape last year? I know you can't say it. You can't say it, except you can, because we know he looks phenomenal this offseason. We know he's taking his workouts really serious this offseason. The proof is in the pudding. He says he's lost 50 pounds. That's the reported number. Well, you don't lose 50 pounds unless you had 50 pounds to lose, right? And if we're going to sit here and pretend that Mekhi Becton's approach to his injury rehab last season was the same as this season or was the same as Carl Lawson's approach to his rehab last year to have another Achilles tweak in uh, January and still be ready and still not miss a game and still not miss a practice. If we're going to pretend that those things are the same, we are choosing not to live in reality. Point blank. And I also saw AVT. I'll play left tackle. I'll play right tackle. He jokingly said he would play center and I'm sure he would do it. So... I'm not saying I'm not going to trash Makai for this, but as sports fans, we have to have different words for different things. We can't call Carl Lawson a beast and having a 1% work ethic and AVT the ultimate team guy for their respective rehab and willing to play different positions and call Makai Becton the same thing. That's just not how words work. We can't do that. We can't do that if we're being serious. But at this point, what's done is done. And I'll also say, you know, that's the Makai side of it, right? But this isn't the first time the Jets under Joe Douglas, I'm not talking about, you know, 2003. I'm talking about under Joe Douglas. This isn't the first time where a player has criticized the team of an injury and how it was handled. Obviously, Osemele, um, Quincy, and Nunwa. And then even Ty Johnson just came out and said that the Jets, you know, encouraged him to get a certain surgery done. And as soon as he got it done, they released him. So I was like, eh, uh, you don't love to see that either. So... For the Jets, there's something training staff related that just has seemed off with this team for quite some time, and you got to button that up. And from Makai's perspective, dude, I mean, left tackle, right tackle, let's come in in shape and motivated like it looks like you're willing to do, and then just let your game do the talk from there. And if it's, and if it's obvious that you are doing everything right, and then the team does something wrong, then we can go and blame them. But from Makai's perspective, you got to you gotta have a complete ownership uh, mindset and know that you did everything that you could possibly do. And I don't know if that was the case last year. I hope it is this year. And with the Jets, yeah, it's some weird injury stuff, man. I'm not saying that either side is blameless, but hopefully that's all in the rearview mirror and Makai Becton is out there mauling people. And let's freaking go Jets.